for y'all today. So we're gonna have kind of a chill stream today because your girl went hiking this morning and hurt herself, but I'm fine. It's just my feet. <laughs> so we're gonna do something a little more chill. Hi! You will actually get to see my tired face today. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's just blisters on my feet. I got new tennis shoes. And you know how when you get new shoes, there's like that break-in time where you have to like wear them and sometimes you get blisters. They have to like form to your feet. Well, yeah, so that's happening and the feet hurt. So I thought, oh, we need to do something chill. Yes, hiking was fun. I got to take Calder. Calder had a blast. Yes. Cuppy floof check. Calder is passed out behind me. Kiba's passed out in her bed. Faye is snuggling in my lap. And Faye is snuggling in Hubby's lap. <laughs> Floof check complete. Their tornado is gone. Good. I'm so glad to hear it. Oh my gosh. All right. I hope you guys can hear me okay because, like, I'm super weak. So my voice is like, ooh. <laughs> You're experiencing tired cuppy right now. All right, let me uh, get you guys pulled up over here so I can see you a little better. So let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Sky Fox. Thanks for letting me know I sound good. Hi, Julia. Hi, Totally. Hi, Bingus Fan. Hi, Iris. Awesome. Hi, Mooney. Thunder Bun Bun, your local king dice. Totally. Tara. Zero. Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you guys. So, as I was kind of resting and just chilling out, I was browsing YouTube and a video popped up for me by Salty Sweet Wren. And it looks like they are also just kind of like starting out on YouTube, so definitely go and support them. Here, let me give you a link to their channel. Copy. Because it looks like they actually do a lot of uh, clan gen stuff too. So this is Salty Sweet Wren gonna pen that for you uh, so I was watching their video of it and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing and so we're gonna try out this mod this mod was made by coffee in the discord hello snow <laughs> I haven't been on your channel in a while love your hair thank you so much hi cats not hummingbirds yeah not gonna lie I think they started clan gen series uh, one year ago one year ago that's really awesome um but they are super cool i've enjoyed watching their video on life gen life gen like i said is a mod by coffee the link is in the description of this live stream hopefully it pulls up for you guys if you go to the discord you will be able to get this mod essentially this mod means you get to live and focus on the life of one cat just one not a whole clan one cat so we're gonna try this out now it's in the works so it's very much a demo you can't save anything yet so that's why I made this a live stream because it wouldn't really be good for a series because they're still actively working on this mod it is definitely not done so if you go play it there's gonna be bugs it might crash but that's because they're working on it I got onto it I have a few cats oh Unironically, I discovered Clangen from them. Oh, that's so cool! One kitty. Yes, it focuses on one kitty, Julia. I have discovered Clangen and Wolf Quest from Cuppy. Oh, that's awesome! I think I discovered Clangen from Eco if she was playing back like in August. Yes, actually, I found out about Clangen. Was it from Eco? I think it was. I can't remember all of a sudden. <laughs> you went to the dentist? No! Name it Lilypad Clan. I can do that. Hi, Western. All right, this will be Lilypad Clan since Thunderpup said uh, to do that. Next step. So now we pick our kitten, which I'm really excited. My computer isn't turning on. That's not good. The first cream kitty in Rin's life gen vid was literally me. Oh, I saw that one. I was almost sad that they didn't pick uh, the cream kitty. I think I found out about you from you. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Miss Nerd. I discovered Clan Gen from someone named Possum Breath. I love Possum Breath. Oh my gosh. They do some amazing art. I absolutely love watching the art that Possum Breath does. Gives water bottles to people coming in. Oh, thank you, Totally. 
Willow Clan. Yes, Willow Clan is still coming. Don't worry. I want to kill every single cat except two kits and then boom, loner mod. Oh, jeez. Hi, Mystical. I still can't play Clan Gen as I only have my phone. One day, one day, I'm sure you will have a computer. I, I'm pretty sure at some point in our lives, we all get a computer. The spotted snack and kit. So yes, let's look at kiss. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize y'all if I can't keep up with chat. I will try my absolute best. I'm so sorry if I can't keep up. Hi Willow, how are you? Hi Daisy, more people coming in. What's up everybody? Fluffy Griffin is here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost missed this. We just started, so don't worry. Cuppy, is you available tonight? No, I am not. I have made plans with night that I will not cancel. <laughs> Cuppy, today I was playing Minecraft with one of my online friends, found a voice chat option thing, and we spoke to each other with voice for the first time. Let's go. That's awesome. All right. Hello, Cerulean Fox. Hello, Alexis. Oh my gosh. Everybody's here. All right. So first, we have an adorable torty kit named Dark Kit, a little female kitten who's charming. I love this. No worries, Western. I'm not upset. I just, I can't cancel those plans with Night. Otherwise, she might actually get angry with me. I love Dark Kit. Same, same. Two people called me a tomboy. I'm not. They only call me that because I, I don't wear dresses and stuff. I mean, I don't like to wear dresses. <laughs> Dark Kit, please. Well, we haven't even gone through all of them yet, but Dark Kit is pretty good. We have Heather Kit, another little female. She's polite. Cubby, your face cam is covering some of the kits. Don't worry, I'm gonna go through each and every one of them. I'm gonna go through every single one, so you're gonna get to see them. We have Finn Kit, another female kitten who's an attention seeker. Um, Heavy Kit, our first male. He's a bit troublesome, but he's cute. I love this like brown red spotting that he's got. Pick the first one on the bottom, please. I can see what you're looking at and I'm excited to see that kit. I'm not gonna lie. Finn kit is really cute. It's blurry. Try refreshing the page if it's blurry. All right, next we have Brindle kit, another little female kitten who's a bit impulsive. I've seen this before. Yes, this is called Life Gin. Hi, Sky Fox. Welcome back. I know. I think Dark Kit's going to be the favorite. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. <laughs> we have Hop Kit, a female kitten who's sweet. Looks like she's got a single color pelt. A second male a kitten, Insecure Ripple Kit. Brindle Kit is very cute. I have to agree. Ooh, now there's a lot of love for Brindle Kit. So we'll probably do a poll of the top four favorites. We also have Light Kit, a little male kitten who's quite a bit noisy. I love Light Kit. Oh my gosh. These kits are so cute. I know. I love them so much. And then we have Mink Kit. Oh, Mink Kit. What happened to your coat, little one? Dark kit I needed. I know. I love them all. <laughs> Aw, is this like, this must be markings. I wasn't sure if maybe this was scarring. Yes, light kit is very cute. Mink kit is also adorable. We also have sapling kit, a little male. He's a bit bossy. Look at those eyes. Wow, they practically go glow. <laughs> Lots of mink kit and dark kit love. And then we have Rhyme Kit. Rhyme Kit is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Choose all. <laughs> I wish I could. Look at Rhyme Kit. Wow. Rhyme Kit is definitely pretty. And then another Finn Kit, a female kitten who's polite. Looks like she's got some gray on her back. Ooh, lots of love for Rhyme Kit. Repost, if I were a pro hero in MHA, my hero name would be Western 100%. <laughs> Western, that is just your name for everything. I can't see you as anything else but Western. Choose all and make Kit Clan. <laughs> dark Kit, Rhyme Kit, fight, fight, fight. Okay, I definitely think that Dark Kit and Rhyme Kit need to be on there. So here's Dark Kit again. Rhyme Kit. I'm thinking, huh. There's love for Sapling Kit as well. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough poll options. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the ones that I saw the most of and we'll go from there. 
All right, start poll. What kits do we play? I'm gonna start out with dark kits. There was a lot of love for light kits. And then there was a ton of love for mink kit for a bit. And then of course, rhyme kits. And that is all the options I have. YouTube only allows for four. Okay, here we go. Good luck, everybody. You got this. You got this. <laughs> all right. So as a reminder, here is dark kits. Here is light kits. Here is mink kits. And here is a rhyme kit. And I will keep going through them. So rhyme kit is a little uh, reddish brown. Looks like a classic tabby, maybe? Classic Tabby Tom with a white blaze and white little tootsies. Light Kit is probably a Bengal male with hazel eyes for sure. Very light in color. Got that tan khaki going on. We have Mink Kit, who is a little gray kit that has these splotches of red on her. She's a very polite. And then Dark Kit is a little torty or a calico. I'm not sure. It's either going to be torty or calico. So much love for Dark Kit. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, we have 44 people in here. I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, let's see how we're doing. We got 32 votes with 44 people in here. Let's try and get to, if we can get to 40 votes, I will end it. 40 votes, guys. You got this. It looks like Dark Kit is in the lead at 46%. Rhyme Kit and Mink Kit are tied at 23%. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling that it's actually going to be, it's going to be Dark Kit. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Unless those other nine people come out of nowhere and make a difference, I think we're just going to be with Dark Kit. We got 35 votes. I think that's good. You want to see Rhyme Kit again? Here is Rhyme Kit right here. Rhyme Kits. Mink kits, light kits, and dark kits. All right, we're still at 35 votes. I'm going to give it until 408, and then we're going to stop. Cuppy question, what? Mink does look really, really unique. I agree. I agree with you. Dark kit, ancient bringer of darkness shall rise. I agree. Mink kit is so cute. So cute. Rhyme Kit is definitely a marble tabby. That's, yep, marble tabby. You're right. You're right. Dark Kit, go! Yes, we got 36 votes. We're doing pretty good. Is there a blue-gray kit? There is. Mink Kit is kind of a blue-gray. Um, Hop Kit was also a blue-gray. Mink Kit is so silly. I love her. Yes, Dark Kit for life. Is it 408? It's 408. We're ending the poll. We are going to be playing Dark Kits. Recruits. Okay, should we leave the name Dark Kit? <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna probably play this again, y'all. Like, guaranteed, we're gonna play this again. I have made the clan introducing Pebble Clan. <laughs> okay, should we change the name? Should we change the name or should we just keep it Dark Kit? Just Dark Kit? All right, let's keep it Dark Let's just keep it Dark Kit. I think, I think that's gonna be a good idea. Ooh. Forest, mountain, plains, or beach? Poll number two. <laughs> Where to? All right. Forest, mountain, plains, or beach? Let's go. All right, y'all. Where do you want us to be? Forest, mountain, plains, or beach. And then once we choose, I'll probably just pick the map. Mountains, maybe forest, the dark forest. Ooh, we could have done random. Random probably would have been a good idea. Oh, everybody's loving the mountain right now. We could do the new mountain map, the Crystal River. We haven't done that yet. Would be very fitting for Dark Kit to live in a cave full of crystals. I'm not gonna lie. Did the forest get revamped? Oh, it did. This looks different. 
This looks really good. And this looks like a river right here. Oh, no, it's a log. It's a log. It did get revamped. Yes, Crystal River. Lots of love for Crystal River. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I love that. The mountains look the same. The cavern looks the same. The crystal cavern is new. Cuppy, I made a trio with three of my Morse on Warrior Cast Ultimate Edition. Their names are Ravenstrike, Silverclaw, and Nightpaw. Nice, nice. Mink kit water, dark kit air, rhyme kit earth, and light kit fire. <gasps> Mooney, I love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the four elements combined. Yes. Hello, Stormy Night. Welcome. All right, it looks like Mountain is definitely gonna get it. We're already at 35 votes. I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. Oh no, wait, Forest is pretty close. Should I wait? Should I wait? Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until 412. You've got one more minute. Anybody who hasn't voted, cast your vote. Where shall we be? Forest, mountain, plains, or beach? You got one more minute and then we'll see. There was a point in the old clan gen that I got three of the exact same cat pelts. Oh my gosh, that's pretty lucky considering it, there's like so many options. Slow mode is actually on, there's 45 people. Yes, there are. <laughs> chat so alive, I feel like we might need to slow chat even more. I have 10 seconds on <laughs> for slowing chat. <laughs> Damn, now we need to do another three times for each element. We can, I'd be down. Crystal River, I think that's all the votes we're gonna get. I really do. Mountain has got a lot of love. 20 seconds. What, Mama Dream? What? One minute slow chat. <laughs> I think that's too slow. I could possibly put it for like 15 seconds. We're too strong. You are all very strong. All of the love. Okay, we are done. It was actually the forest. <laughs> The forest one! <laughs> the forest pulled through! Oh my gosh! That's all right. We can do a beautiful... This got revamped, so let's play in this one. Oh no, everybody's so sad. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We'll have to do more. We'll have to... We'll have to do more. Hi, Squirrel Leaf Studios! No, we want Crystal River. Don't worry. We will do this again. We will do this again. We can play this multiple times, y'all. It's going to be great. All right, done. Continue. Always oh, a baby. So now we join in a clan that is already established. There's our little butt right there. Look at our little butt. <laughs> yes, we will play this again. Don't worry. Moody Forest works for Dark Kit. It does actually kind of work. It does. So much drama and we haven't even started yet for real. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one cat is half white and gray with spots. Yes. Pirate Beach people sitting sadly in the corner, JK. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's look at our cat list. So we have Sandstar, who's eavesdropping on Ice Paw, a male who is 76 moons old, has not lost a single life. Um, has an apprentice snowy paw. No, I didn't know you were in this. <laughs> um, so since this is already established, we even have like sea relationships. Wow. This is going to be great. I'm super excited about this. I haven't played this yet. I've only watched, um, I've only watched one video. Your pick is in the way. I'm sorry. Here, let me move my pick. Let me see if I can make it smooth. All right, let's uh, let's shrink a doodle this. I am smaller. Is that better? Is that better? I am now smooth. How's that? We don't want to see my face anyway. It's tired. <laughs> I'm not the main character. Oh no, chat is fast. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll slow it down just a little bit. Nobody get mad. Nobody get mad. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, let's see, shrink-a-doodle? Yes, I did shrink-a-doodle. I absolutely shrink-a-doodled. <laughs> I wanna see your face, Cuppy. My face is here. It's just a little smaller. Time to describe my trio, let's go. Sandstar does look a little tired, not gonna lie. 
<laughs> All right, next cat. Uh, Brooke B is a female. She is the deputy. Her apprentice is Splinterpaw. She's 93 moons old. She's quite bold. She's a good fighter and a fast runner. Ooh. It's so chill now. Hello, coconuts. How are you? <laughs> Theory Dark Kit is gay, trying to get noticed. We shall see what happens. We have Olive Burn, a male. This is the medicine cat. He's a bit strict. He's thinking about taking on a new apprentice. Surprisingly, he's a formidable fighter and a good climber despite being a medicine cat. Your face blocked sand because you're both tired. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. What's up, Erica? How are you? All right, next we have Mink Twist. It's tossing moss balls around. Mink Twist looks like they had a pretty bad injury. A warrior senior adult male. Tygon! Oh my gosh, thank you! You are the light that shines in the dark of life. When you hurt, we respect your need for distance, but when you're happy, there's no place you'd rather be than here with us. You're an angel and a fairy. Oh my goodness, Tygon, thank you so much! Everybody, please shower Tygon with love. Tygon has always been so generous and so kind and such a precious friend to me on this channel. Make sure to give them love. They certainly need it right now as life is always a bit dramatic. So Tygon could use the love. Thank you, Tygon. Much love to you. Mwah. I hope you're having a fabulous, amazing day. <laughs> Tygon, I'm pelting you once more with lemon squares. Yes, take all the lemon squares. <laughs> Tyga be slaying. Let's go. Aw, thank you guys. I love to see that y'all are giving love to the community. I gotta go. I'll be back though. Don't worry, Cuppy. No worries, Squirrel Leaf. Take as much time as you need. Don't worry at all. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Now we've got Elder Current. Elder Current is eavesdropping on Shrew Tooth. He is a trans male young adult at 45 moons old. Great climber, formidable fighter. These cats are like fighters. Let's go. Ice Paw is, what happened? I saw a thing. Oh, it was just really delayed. It was like, hey, you got a gift by the way. That was super delayed. <laughs> okay. Ice Paw is hoping Brookby assigns them to the next patrol. So we've got somebody that really wants to get out there and do the work. Okay, let's go on to Splinter Paw, a female adolescent at eight moons old. Mentor is Brooke B. Tygon! Oh my goodness, thank you for the two more dollars. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. I love the dog emojis. I'm so glad YouTube did that. Give more love to Tygon. I got five hours of sleep, but yet I'm watching this live stream. Oh no, if you need to go take a nap, go take a nap. It's totally fine. <laughs> Donations make me happy. Thank you, Tygon. It's a win-win. They make me happy too. I appreciate it. I didn't stream for two months, so my my budget's a little tight. So I am extra, extra grateful for anything that you throw my way. It is really helping me out. So bless you. Bless you so much. All right, we have Snowy Paw, who literally looks like a snow leopard. A young adolescent male, Bengal Pelt, seven moons old. Mentor is Sandstar. Ooh. I love Snowy Paw. Heck yes. Uh, let's see. Time to go spend $50 on donations if I'm allowed. Stormy, you do not have to. I want y'all all to know. Like, donations are always appreciative so much. I really appreciate it. But it's never required. You're always welcome to just come here, hang out, watch the live stream, be with me, talk to me. And if that's what you have to give, that is still so precious to me. Every second of it. I love all of you guys. I love these new trailers. Yeah. <laughs> Sandstar wanted to... Uh, wanted the cool looking cat for herself. For real. All right, we have Shrew Tooth, a male senior at 151 moons old. That's pretty old. A compassionate elder with proficient abilities. No worries, Erica, please. No worries at all. Who named all their children after winter? I know, right? And then we have Pebble Kits, a young little female, a bossy kitten, bangle pelts, and she's only four moons old. Flip Kit is only a moon old. I wonder how we're gonna get along with Flip Kit. A young male who's a bit nervous, but is a careful listener. And then there's us. And then there's us. <laughs> 
Oh, I meant the traits, not the trailers. I was like, oh, is it my trailer voice? Ew, Elder, no. Oh, Cerulean Fox. I would actually love to see your art. You do not have to gift it by any means, but I love seeing y'all's art. Y'all are so talented. Oh, Stormy, that would be so sweet. But again, you're not required, but that's very sweet. Okay, so what we have to do, we can't go on patrol because we are a tiny kit. All we really have to do right now is to age up. So we're gonna time skip one moon, born into the world with no known parents, you, dark kit, and your siblings. We have siblings! Quail kit and you kit are embraced by the love of Sandstar and Brookby. Their welcoming purrs echo throughout the nursery, wrapping you in all the comforting blanket of affection. What? So we're adopted? Oh, we're adopted by the, the leader and the deputy. And we have siblings. So Dark Kit appreciates Oliver and telling them that they had a feather stuck on their face. And then Snowy Paw thinks they can tell Dark Kit something important. And then Ice Paw ran too fast over harsh ground and hurt her paws. Oh no. Let's look at our... Look at our siblings! This is our sister! What? Hey, Tonia, what's up? Brookby, yay. That's so cute. Patrols when you're a kit are like you exploring the camp, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, Miss Nerd. I appreciate that. Bro siblings suck. <laughs> Hey, not all siblings suck. My sister's pretty awesome. Oh, it's all over. I'm under the same name everywhere. I even got art on my YouTube community post. Though it's not a ton of my fancy stuff. Cerulean, I'm going to go check you out. What's up, Ember? Ironically, I was playing BitLife a bit earlier. Oh, I'm going to play some Pokemon Fusion and have you play in the background. Sorry, Cuppy. No worries. No worries at all. You have fun with that siblings do suck sometimes <laughs> all right so quail kit looks like a marbled pelt cat this dark pelt kind of like passed on she's a bit lonesome and never sits still and then our brother you kit is pale has pale green eyes a single color coat doesn't look single color <laughs> but is a sweet kitten who splashes in puddles ah I have no siblings. I guess I'm lucky. I think it depends on the siblings. Make dark kit bloodthirsty. No, no. <laughs> I just noticed the cat ear headset. Yes, hubby got these for me for Christmas. I love them. Okay, so now I guess we can go on patrol and see what happens. All right, two of your fellow kits are arguing about a ball of moss. You can choose to intervene and help them solve their dispute. <sighs> should we proceed? I feel like we should. Wait, Cuppy, go back to Dark Kit. I'm slowly drawing them. I will. I absolutely will. I feel like we should proceed. Intervene? All right. With your assistance, the kits come to a compromise, and thank you for your help. <gasps> We're a good kitty. <laughs> huh, seems a bit risky. <laughs> I have tried it, Mama Dream. I actually tried drawing one one time. I need to I need to find that. <laughs> I gotta go. No, it's okay, Thunder Pup. You can always watch the VOD later on and we will continue to do this, so don't worry. Alright, let's save. Should we look at any of our other cats or should we not? I mean, this is our story after all. It's our story. We are so cute. We're confident with our words. <gasps> Heck yes. I feel like Dark Kit, Dark Kit would be a good leader already. Yes. I'll be right back. I got to try something real quick. No worries. Take your time. I used to have one, two, a cat ear headset. Yes. It's, they're really popular. I see them all around. Don't. We are the main character. Okay. I agree. I agree. We're the main character. Let's go ahead and age up. A sudden gust of wind sweeps through the camp, scattering leaves and dust. The camp, usually so orderly, becomes a whirlwind of activity as cats scramble to secure loose items. Ooh. It looks like Dark Kit saw Shrewtooth being considerate. Sandstar tells Dark Kit that they caught this prey just for them as they deliver it to them. Sandstar is so sweet to us. What? 
Um, Ice Lark called Dark Kit the wrong name. Oops. Ice Lark, that's not very good. Elder Current is vowed by is woed by how bravely Dark Kit fought the other day. What did we fight? What did we fight? What did we fight? Welcome back, cats, not hummingbirds. Sandstar, we are favorite kit. Yes, agreed. Father goals. Love it. Okay, got something a bit nicer on my community posts. Some of my fake screenshots I do sometimes. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm modding life gen. Are you? What? Are you going to play it? Or are you actually like modding it? Dark kit rules. Heck yes. We are best. We are best kit. <laughs> Bro, when I try to patrol, it won't let me. No. Dark Kit fought the air, I guess. Sandstar was seen chasing a rogue off the territory, and Frostpaw ran too fast over harsh ground and hurt their paws. Oh dear. Okay, let's do this again. A guest of wind has blown a ball of moss into the thorny undergrowth. It's your favorite plaything, and you ponder whether to attempt to retrieve it. Ooh, should we retrieve it? Should we retrieve it? I hear speaking. I am speaking. I'm modding it, I'm making it into high res. What, are you serious? Stormy, that is epic. Oh my gosh, I would love to see that. Get it, we have main character shield. You're right, we have main character shield. Time to be a hero at a young age, yes. All right, proceed. You give it your best shot, but the thorns prove too dense. Even so, your courage earns you respect among your peers. Heck yes. So we didn't get it, but the fact that we tried still got us bonus points. I already have high-res sprites, so I can use those. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. Cuppy, help. The wind outside is terrifying. I completely understand. Um, you'll be okay. If you get too scared, you can always go into the bathroom, but the bathroom's always a safe place. Hey, now everyone loves us. Yes, exactly, Iris. Dark Kit did fight the bush. Dark Kit fought the bush. I've drawn Dark Kit getting slapped in the face with a leaf. Heck yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Clouded Sun, we just started. We are playing the main character in a clan gen story called Life Gen. Yes, all bow down to Dark Kit. <laughs> Cuppy, earlier I accidentally lost a whole patrol to a two leg monster. Oh gosh. Oh, those mass extinction events sometimes. Oh, let's save. Let's save. All right, shall we age up? Nothing interesting happened. Dark Kit is telling jokes about Pebble Paw. Ooh. Dark Kit, shame on you. Hi. Oh my gosh. What is up, Smudge? You changed your name to S'mores? What? I love S'mores, by the way. Any reason why the name changed? But how are you? Uh, Dark Kit gives leader vibes. I agree. I agree. I got off MC earlier to take a nap. Once I got in bed, I checked my phone before I turned it off to sleep. I got your stream notification. Now I'm here. Yay, Kat, I'm so glad you're here. You've seen this mod? I just saw a video on it. I was like, I want to do this. I don't know, Western. Um, Try starting it again and see if that doesn't help. Try starting it again. Dark Kid is bored. I guess so. <laughs> Sandstar is sparring with Dark Kit. Okay. Brookby swaps favorite prey with Dark Kit. All oh, these parents are great, y'all. Uh, Frostpaw is complaining that Dark Kit never does anything helpful. <gasps> Frostpaw, how dare. How dare. Uh, Mink Twist sees that Dark Kit's piece of prey looks tastier and asks if they'd like to swap. They agree happily, saying they like the one better. Aww. Aww. Dark Kid is so sweet. Law is just a joke on my channel. I changed my name to S'more in April Fools and I decided to change it again today. I think it's super cute. I love it. When I try to patrol, it closes the game on me. Hmm. You might want to make sure that your tools are updated and that you have, you should have the correct version. Make sure that your tools are updated. Looks like Dark Paw and the apps don't get along. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Have you played Cattails Wildwood Story demo or are you not into Cattails? I actually, um, I actually have the beta version and I've been thinking about starting a new series on it with Heather Kit, the one and only surviving kit of Mist Clan. And this was actually an idea that Magix, one of our community members had. And so I'm probably gonna do that. 
But Dark Kid is a kit, so they can't do anything helpful. I know, right? <laughs> okay. And the miscellaneous Elder Current announced they are expecting kits. What? Elder Current. How old are you? Oh, Elder Current's not the Elder. Whew. Whew. But they're having kits. That's really exciting. We're going to have new litter mates. Okay, let's go on patrol again and see what happens. Two of your fellow kits are arguing about a ball of moss. You can choose to intervene. Let's do it again. Despite your efforts, the kits continue to quarrel. You sigh. You feel too old for your age, almost as if you're not really a few moon old kit and instead you're some higher being. <gasps> We're maturing quickly. Huh, interesting. Where can I find Cattails? Cattails is on Steam, if I believe. Hello, spooky cat. How are you? Yes, don't forget the tools. You'll regret it. Yep, Heather Kit. Heather Kit. It was uh, Magic's idea. It's too hard to watch alive and play Warrior Cat's Ultimate Edition, but it's fine. If you want to go play, Jasmine, it will not hurt my feelings. You have a good time. This is supposed to be a comfort stream. You're welcome to come and go. Whatever you need to do. Yes, we have a mature baby. Dark Kid is totally main character. This is the bad thing. His siblings making him mature. I know. He's going to feel the need to take care of them, but you're absolutely right. Cuppy, I also say what I do because to me, you are my best friend. Hi, Gon. Oh my gosh. I wish I could hug you like in person. <laughs> I want to give you a hug so bad. All right. We are four moons old. Nothing interesting happened. Elder Current thinks they're having a small litter. Dark Kit appreciates Snowy Paw telling them they had a feather stuck on their face. Sandstar surprises Dark Kit with something nice. Frost Paw is letting Dark Kit share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better. All positive. I love that. Dark Kit is doing good, I guess, like a professor. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I was thinking of getting the beta a while back, but I know my mom wouldn't let me, so I just had to wait till the game comes out, sadly. It should be coming out this year. Be right back. Need to watch the new Wolf Quest Death Vlog. <gasps> Ooh, I hope it's good. I like having Cuppy talk in the background as I'm doing my own stuff. It's so nice. Aw, thank you, Mama Dream. What do you mean by tools are updated? Go up to, um, it's like manage tools. It's in the top area. It, you should be able to find it. Also, Cuppy, I'm doing the diamond art while listening and chatting. I may have to leave early as well because I have a party soon. Ooh, that's a good reason to leave, though. Hi, Lantern. What's up? Uh, let's see. I think Dark Kit would be a good teacher when she grows up. Uh, also, again, sorry I was late. No worries. Playing PvP games along with a few friends. No worries at all. I hope you had fun. Yes, I'm able to see relationships. I think we'll look at relationships once uh, Dark Kit is five moons old. I think that would be a good idea. I swear once the stream ends, I'm going to have a whole doodle page of Dark Kit. Yes, do it. I would love to see it. All right. Hopefully this goes well this time. An apprentice, their eyes lit with a fire of purpose, offers to teach you some basic hunting moves. You can already see yourself a full-fledged warrior stalking through the forest with deadly grace. All right. You stumble through the steps, your kid, your kid in this <laughs> clumsiness holding you back, but the apprentice is patient, reassuring you with a gentle mew that you will get better with time and practice. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, welcome to the Discord, Stormy. Welcome, welcome. There is a 10 minute timer, so if you don't see anything for 10 minutes, don't worry about that. It should pop up once that 10 minute timer is over. Correction, you can already see yourself as a great leader after the apprentice helped you. That's absolutely right. I wonder which apprentice too, I wish it would say. I have to draw them super quick because it goes so fast, right? All right, let's see. I wonder which cat it would have been. So we've got Snowy Paw, Frost Paw, and Pebble Paw. You know what? Let's look at the relationships. Maybe it would tell us. So Dark Kits, um, surprisingly has some like for Snowy Paw. So it could be Snowy Paw. Ooh, doesn't like Frost Paw though. It could have been Pebble Paw as well. I think it's Snowy Paw. I think Snowy Paw did it because there's this platonic like respect, comfort, and trust. That's a lot. 
That's a lot. But Frostpaw has a huge dislike right now. Mm. They are not getting along. All right, time skip one moon. Whoa! But what about Splinterpaw? Oh, did I not look at Splinterpaw? Let me read this and I'll look at Splinterpaw. A heated exchange escalates between two warriors, fur bristling, tails lashing. You listen, the tension thick in the air. Oh dear. An accident, an accidental detour leads you into the medicine cat's den, a place of healing and knowledge. The den with its strange sense and neatly organized nest is a world apart from the rest of the camp. The sight of herbs, each with a purpose of power, sparks a curiosity about the healer's role. <gasps> Are we gonna be a healer? I don't know, I still think Frostpaw would do it and Dark Kit would just be angry. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of looking at it. Press the little cat icon for the first thing to see who got mad at each other. Oh. It did not work. Hmm. That could be something they need to add. Seems kind of mixed on... Yeah, she does. The deputy organizes patrols, their voice carrying across the camp with authority. The camp is a flurry of activity as warriors and apprentices move to follow the deputy's orders. The deputy stands tall and confident, their gaze sweeping across the camp to ensure everything is as it should be. You stare at them, imagining yourself in their place? So wait, there's a desire... There's a desire to be deputy, but also there's a little curiosity of being a medicine cat. I like to play you in the background when I work like I am right now. Oh, thank you. That is such a compliment because I am usually watching YouTube while I'm doing something in the background and I'm very picky about who I watch when I'm doing stuff. I found something cursed and I'll be back in making a bit of it. Oh my gosh, please make a bit of it. Repost some idiots in... Quebec accidentally started a forest fire and the smoke blew over here to Ottawa. So now we have to breathe in the smoke. I heard that there was really bad fires in Canada. So it was started by people. I haven't read into what happened, but that sucks so much. I think mediator or leader, to be honest. Okay. Dang, Dark Kid can't make up their mind. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, the next moon, we're going to be an apprentice. Deputy and leader is their parent, so Dark Kit would be influenced, but they felt a spark when in the med den. That is true. That is very true. You have to wear a mask in DC. Jeez. So I'm in Colorado. We're not getting any of the smoke right now. Hi, Anna. How are you? Okay, Dark Kit chomps on Mink Twist ear. And for some reason, Mink Twist found that adorable. <laughs> Sandstar chats with Dark Kit while grabbing something to eat. And then Ice Larch went climbing a tree when they fell. Luckily, they were only bruised by the accident. Splinter Tumble is caught breaking the warrior code. Elder Current purrs loudly as Olive Burn grooms their pelts as their new litter of three kids squirm. <gasps> Y'all, look at the bee! I'm doing really good, Anna. I'm just a little tired from my hike, which is why we're doing this instead of games on Roblox today, because I was really tired. I'm in Nevada and we have no smoke. Hopefully everyone who is impacted is okay. Agreed. Olive Burn broke the code? <gasps> Gasp. Gasp. <laughs> so we've got model kits. Aspen kits. Ah! And branch kids. Oh my goodness, they like trees. Those are gonna be so cute. How are our siblings doing? Quail Kit is feeling alone. Oh my gosh, Cuppy, have you seen the newest Wolf Quest dev vlog? No, I have not. The air quality was at 10 yesterday. Is 10 bad? Is 10 bad? I'm in Minnesota and we have a few air quality alerts. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that's going on, y'all. I feel like sleeping, but I will not leave my girlfriend alone for hours. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Olive Burns the Medcat, right? Oh, you're right. They did get away with having kids. Unfortunately, I have to go. Have a nice stream and day, Cuppy. Thank you so much, Miss Nerd, and thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. 
oh no, I'm going to Minnesota soon. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. The fire can be fought. It will be okay. I'm scared of the devlog updates, lol. Oh no. Cuppy exile the code breakers. I don't think I can actually. Never mind. I totally can. I don't know why I would have that power, but I'm not doing that. Yukit wants to have fun. We need to play with our siblings. Yes, Olive Burn is absolutely the medicine cat. But that's okay. We're fine. Look at Snowy Catcher. Snowy Catcher. Frost Paw, still a paw. Pebble Paw, still a paw. Flip Paw. Just became an apprentice. Um, So Splinter Tumble. Could have been. Let me see. Has some respect and comfort. I think it was uh, Snowy, actually. I think it was Snowy that helped out our little kit. All right, let's go in. Snowy Catcher is literally beautiful. Already my favorite. For real. YouTube just restarted. Oh, no. Is everything okay on my end? Y'all can see everything okay? I know sometimes it gets to be a, a pain in the butt. All right, let's go on patrol. Late one evening, you notice a particular shimmering light in a nearby puddle. The prospect of discovering something new intrigues you. Let's proceed. You approach the puddle, but the source of the light quickly scurries away. It's disappointing, but the mystery fuels your desire for knowledge. <gasps> Do you think it was maybe a Star Clan cat? Do you think a Star Clan cat was trying to get in contact? Star Clan was there? Yes! Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. Let me take a sip. Ugh, so good. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Ooh, that sounds horrible. I live in PA and it's my... It's your birthday, Jasmine? Happy birthday? Oh my gosh. Why didn't you lead with that? Happy birthday, Jasmine. Hi, Lily. How are you? I'm pretty sure it was just a reflection, but you do you, Dark Kid. <laughs> See, I told you Dark Kid is a med cat. Cuppy, do you play Ark? I used to play Ark a lot. Hello, Firefly. How are you? How do you join the Life Clan or to the Discord? There's a dis there's a link in the description below that leads you to the Discord to get this mod. I hope that helps. I really do. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. <gasps> Look at our sassy sub. Let's go. No one understood the reference? I didn't, but it sounded like the beginning of a spooky story. Shia LaBeouf. It was Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. What was it? You're walking around and your phone is dead. Huh. He begins to come at you at a full sprint. Shia LaBeouf. Okay, <laughs> only hubby would know. <laughs> only hubby. Hubby gets it. See, coconut. Everybody says hi. Hi, everyone. Are you leaving? I'm gonna be leaving. So okay, have fun playing Warhammer. Can I have a kiss? Of course. I love you. I love you too. Have fun, baby. I will. Have fun too. <laughs> Everyone here better make sure that she has fun. <laughs> I love that he gets it, yes. Sandstar, you uh, nepotist mentoring your own fave child. Wait, is that what's happening? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Relationship goals. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, y'all. I'm so glad that <laughs> that you guys like Cuppy. Cuppy, I demand you have fun. I will. I will absolutely have fun. <laughs> All right, let's read this. <clears throat> you would. You would, Coconut. Absolutely. Y'all's humor is like the same. I may have been born a girl, but I am a male, and that is perfectly fine, and you are welcome here. This is your family. Welcome to your family. I hope you stay and enjoy your time. We will love you through and through. Hugs, Cuppy, you're amazing, sweet, cool. Thank you. Oh, I love you, Tyga. Thank you for the $2. I give huggies. Huggy, 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 huggies. <laughs> I will try, Anna. I will try. Anna, what was your last one? Cuppy. I have watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. I need to. I need to. Yes, slay, Tygon. Slay. All right, let's read this. Here we go. 
Your fur prickles with anticipation. As the clan gathers beneath the great rock, the shadows dancing like fireflies in the dusty light, you stand at the edge, heart pounding in your chest like a rabbit caught beneath your claws. When Sandstar emerges from the cloud, from the crowd, <laughs> their eyes meet yours, a silent recognition of the transition to come. Your kit name is replaced with a new name, Darkpaw. As you take a step forward, Sandstar, your mentor, becomes welcomes you with a gentle nudge of their nose against your forehead. The thrill of acceptance courses through you as an apprentice of Lilypad Clan. You're all you're ready to face whatever the forest throws at you. So now we are Dark Pa. Hello, Calder. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mentored by Sandstar, play in favorites, I see. We downloaded Sandstrand from the cloud. Oh, Kevi, I can't tell if, uh, if I miss you responding to my other message that aren't donated, but if we could talk for a second DM after stream before you rest or such, I'd greatly appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Yes, the fur trickles, prickles with anticipation. Hello, Calder. I see Calder has already rested up from our hike today. <laughs> Dude, it really reminds me of the Shia LaBeouf thing. <laughs> All right. Dark Paw is talking with Snowy Catcher. Cool. So they do have a really good relationship. Brooke B noticed that Dark Paw is falling behind in training and offered to help them catch up. Aww. Olive Burn was out on a walk alone when they heard a fox approaching. They crawled into a thorny shrub to hide, but got some nasty scratches in the process. I'm glad they weren't hurt. No baby. No baby. <laughs> I broke life, Jen. No! Also, sorry, I mainly ask questions on stream and I don't really talk for the rest. I am not the best of conversations. No worries. I feel bad if I can't read everybody's chat, but when we got, you know... 48 people in here that does get hard no worries erica you can always watch the vod later i hope you have an amazing day thanks for hanging out while you can i'm in my mom's office room because she has a spiny chair and oh my gosh her oil paintings look so good <gasps> she's a painter that's amazing hey cuppy speaking of arc when i was first new to arc i was walking around in like a bad area during nighttime walked straight into a giga scared the crap out of me that sounds awful Cubby, choose a number one through four, three. I will tell you about the cat's apprentice years in life. Let's go. Cubby, reppy, jumpy, muppy. <laughs> that made me laugh. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Frost Ash tries to convince Model Kit to run away with them. What? Frost Ash got their paw stuck in a two-leg trap, and while they eventually escape, their leg is heavily injured. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's go to cat list and let's look at our relationships. I'm not gonna look at anybody else's, just ours. So, we have a pretty good platonic-like respect, comfort, and trust for Sandstar. Same with Brook B. We're okay with Flip Paw. We kind of like Ice Larch. Um, we trust Olive Burn. We like Snowy Catcher. We like Splinter Tumble as well. Actually, a little more than Snowy Catcher. We're okay with Pebble Paw, so that's good. We really don't like Frost Ash. <laughs> we like Mink Twist and Elder Current. So we pretty much like everybody except Frost Ash. Does Dark Kit still hate Frost? Yeah, that's a pretty deep dislike. Deep. Buppy Cuppy Duppy Cuppy. <laughs> I'm watching my girlfriend play Cattails Wildwood story demo and as we just role play, that is so awesome. I love how wholesome that is. Today is the 39th anniversary of Gremlins and I'm super emotional. Gosh. Oh my gosh. What about the med cat? It looks like... It looks like uh, for the med cat, it's very much a, a trust. There's a big trust for the med cat. Cuppy puppy. <laughs> All right, last time asking, can you click on Sand Star's sprite? Yes. Can you see it? Okay. Here is Sand Star. I'll give you a moment. If you want to take a screenshot, you can. Uh, my graphics right now are so good. Heck yes. 
no role as medcat no so currently it looks like um we're apprentice to sandstar so we're an apprentice to be a warrior we're apprentice to be a warrior but that's okay why is sandstar unavailable all right go on patrol a warrior asks you to join them on nighttime guard duty you attempt to join the vigil, but struggle to stay awake. After a while, the warrior nudges you and urges you to go back to your den. No, we failed! We are a sleepy kitty. Puppy cuppy? Yep. Pokemon box, but it's cats. <laughs> back from doing chores, I was checking on my hen. Since I let her and the chicks run around for the first time, I didn't see the second one at first. It got scared, but it was hiding behind a plant. Aww! The Secrets of Mogwai. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Glad the little chicken children are okay. Uh, in the role play, someone is sick and their lover is making sure they get well. Oh, that's so sweet. Repost, my mom is actually an author, but she does some painting as a hobby. Also, I meant the chair is, is oh, it spins. It spins. <laughs> Cuppy, you have chosen. Rushing Spike. <laughs> Tired in the dark, dark paw. Oh, wow. How is that ironic? Is that ironic? Is that ironic? Good news, Cuppy. I found Quesadilla. Oh, thank goodness. I know you said they ran away. Sometimes I repeat what I say when I don't get noticed. That's best. If for some reason I skip over, it's always good to repost. In the role play, someone is sick. And yep, I think I just read that. It is amazing. The lore is insane. The gremlins met a goddess a goddess for real what let's go all right shall we continue let's age up again you're sent on a dawn patrol the sight of the forest waking up to the first light of day is breathtaking and you feel a sense of peace dark paws having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with aspen kids <gasps> yes all right here we go. This actually goes really fast because you really can only do a couple things. A fellow apprentice challenges you to a friendly sparring match. It's a great way to practice combat skills. You accept the challenge but end up losing the match. Despite the defeat, your spirits remain high and your bond with the other apprentice grows stronger. So we're really good at making friends. We may not be the strongest um, or even the smartest, but we're really good at being friendly. Good evening, Avion. How are you? Rio 3 movie coming out, is it? Yeah, they also may have killed her, but we don't know yet. Oh, no. <laughs> I must head out, but I leave Snowy Catcher with some plot armor as I will check back later to see how it went. Bye, everyone. Bye, Snow. Thanks for coming by. I love feeling those moments of peace. I get them all the time, and it's so nice. When I'm in the forest, I feel that, too. I feel that, too. 2024 oh russian kit was always much more ambiverted than his brother and as she grew she grew more interested in star clan tales of spirits and healing herbs oh hi froggy clan gen life killed me as an apprentice twice during moon events so i'm scared for dark paw <gasps> what that could happen no <laughs> i'm so scared now Oh no! Appears epically I have returned. Welcome back, King Days! Cuppy, would you like to hear the little bits of lore for Farm Clan? You're welcome to post it. If I don't read it, I'm very sorry. I'm trying to keep up with everybody's chat the best I can. All right, let's save. And now we are eight moons. Whoa, a lot happened. A patrol takes you to the shadowy depths of the forest. Despite the daylight, it feels like stepping into another world. You help mark the borders of your clan's territory, learning the importance of this task to, to protect your clan. You help the medicine cat gather herbs, their names and uses, and uses a litany in your head. Okay. You get to watch over a moon old kit for a day. The experience is exhausting. <laughs> we don't want to be a parent. Uh, let's see. I'm working on a story and you're definitely an inspiration. Want to hear about it? Again, you are welcome to type it. If I do miss it, I apologize. I'm trying my best to get through as many as I can when I have moments to look back at chat. Uh, let's see. 
They reveal to us that gremlins and Mogwai are immortal unless they get killed. So yeah, gremlin lore is crazy. What? Dark Paw better not die in Apprentice Hood, I agree. Training under Stork Snap quickly, rushing Spike grew more snappy and mean, easily snapping at cats who annoyed her, which was very easily done. Oh dear. <laughs> Me every time I see King Dice for no reason, I'll take your whole stock. <laughs> the forest background was the right one, really. I think I agree. I think it worked out this way for a reason. And instead of calling me Stormy Knight, uh, do call me Kitty. Kitty is what my friends call me and other people, so Kitty is just more comfortable for me. Okay, I will try and remember Kitty. So Stormy Knight equals Kitty. Kitty is preferred. Kitty. Got it. Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Darkpaw appreciates how Ice Larch always seems to ask how they're doing. Elder Current thinks Darkpaw is very helpful. Darkpaw feels ignored by you, Paw. <gasps> no, our brother's ignoring us. Flippaw went for a long walk this morning deep in thought. Pebblepaw was seen chasing a kitty pet off the territory. <laughs> Frost Ash overdid their last sparring session and has been wincing all day. Seems they're a bit bruised. The older cats look fondly upon the kits who are dashing in and out of leaf piles at the edge of camp. Yupaw misstepped and slipped on, on a rock, spraining their paw. Branch Kit tried to sneak out of camp but fell and scraped their paw before they even left the safety of the camp walls. So I imagine this is all stuff that we're seeing happen. Cuppy, I'm going to lurk for a while. I'll remind you at the end of my presence lulls. No worries, Tygon. I hope you get some rest while not typing. I know typing can be... A lot. I am back. Welcome back, Squirrel Leaf. Uh, weather radar app on my phone. Air quality in your area is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Yes, just stay inside if you can. And, you know, if you have to wear a mask, I highly suggest that just while the smoke is bad. Um, Rushing Paw got her iconic snappy personality to its max when she was around 10 moons. She mastered herb uses easily, yet always found scenting the easiest skill of all. Oh. Branch Kit, no, I know. I know, welcome back, Western. Okay, let's go on patrol again. The wise elders ask if you would be willing to share your fresh kill with them. Would you like to partake in this meal sharing tradition? Yes, you agree to share your meal with the elders who in return share fascinating tales from their youth. I love that. Let's see. And once again, nothing interesting happens. Darkpaw wishes they had Yupaw's mentor instead. <gasps> oh no. Brookby apologized to Darkpaw for something or other. Okay, who is Yupaw's? Wait, cat list. You. Yupaw. Oh. <gasps> You paused the medicine cat apprentice dark kit really wanted to be a medicine cat. <coughs> One second, let me drink some water. Bye, cats, not hummingbirds. You were right, cat. You were right. But the drama of having our cat not be what they truly wanted to be, I want to see where that goes. Cuppy, when Dark Paw becomes a warrior, you can pause for a while on their profile. Can you pause while on their profile? Absolutely. But did you get, you got Dark Paw though, right? I don't believe that cat's ever been to medical school. <laughs> I can repost the parts if needed. Yes, Spooky Cat, go ahead and do that. Again, I feel bad if I can't read it all, but I'll try. Uh, he used to be a warrior, hence why he made it to the actual territory of Star Clan. But with two legs around taking the herbs and prey, they have a higher death rate. Okay. Yes, post the other parts again. Calder, don't scratch. That hurts, baby. That hurts. Yeah, that hurted. That hurted a lot. Dark Paws reconsidering the warrior path. I wonder if Sandstar manipulated Dark Paw into doing otherwise. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Huh. Let's see what happens on patrol today. Your mentor suggests an additional training session focused on tracking skills, an opportunity to sharpen your senses and improve your hunting prowess. 
You graciously accept the extra training and astoundingly track a mouse using its scent alone. Your mentor observes with a sense of pride and nods approvingly at your progress. I think you might be right that maybe Sandstar did kind of manipulate and push Dark Paw into being a warrior as opposed to a medicine cat apprentice. Is Dark Paw a long fur kitty? Good question. So Dark Paw is a female adolescent with cobalt eyes, a torty pelt, fur length is a medium, so in between short and long. She's nine moons, apprenticed by Sandstar. She's very confident, especially with her words. Um, and her experience is 26 as of right now. Let's see. Livestream 47 people. Me. Cuppy should have all the watcher subs in the world. She is awesome. Thank you, Squirrel Leaf. You are so sweet. Repost. So we have these two gals, Charlie and Jade. They're gay and love, engaged and all that. And then Charlie goes missing. Jade investigates and finds out Charlie's been kidnapped, so she gotta save Charlie. Oh my gosh, what? This sounds amazing. Is this a story? I mean, it sounds sad, but amazing. Like, it's a good story. That might explain why Dark Paw's feelings towards Sandstar aren't as high as they could be, even though Sandstar seems to favor her. Mm, that would make sense. It's 1 a.m., Sky Fox. Please go get sleep. Please go get sleep. You can always watch the VOD back. No worries. I don't want to keep you awake. Uh, repost of the other parts. I'm going to join on my PC to type it though because it's easier to type. Understandable. Ah, yes, we were. I think at one point I saw it was like up to 55 and I was like, how did that happen? That was terrifying. <laughs> I was happy, but I was like, how will I ever keep up? Okay, so let's save. We are now in Leaf Bear. Nothing interesting happened except for relationships. Dark Paw had a disagreement with Sandstar while on patrol earlier. Uh-oh. Sandstar quickly apologizes after bumping into Dark Paw. They have a small laugh about it. All right, so they're kind of balancing out. Flip Paw apprentice appreciates Dark Paw telling them that they had a feather stuck on their face. Ice Lark sees that Dark Paw's piece of prey looks tastier and asks if they like to swap. They agree happily, saying they like the one better. Olive Burn, Dark Paw, and Branch Kit had a nice talk while eating. So it seems like mostly good stuff except for the first one. Sandstar is totally a manipulator now. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, Flip Paw has realized that Tom doesn't describe how they feel anymore. Alright. Let's go on patrol. A fellow apprentice challenges you to a friendly sparring match. It's a great way to practice combat skills. And same as before, we kind of got defeated. <laughs> but our spirits are high and our relationship grows stronger. Alright, we are one moon before becoming a warrior, possibly. I guess it depends. I got a cat named Minky Moo Moo in Clanton once. That is adorable! Let's see, Farm Clan is a clan that was formed in the plains near a farm after the cats were abandoned after a fire in the barn. Ice Throat died in the fire and now he watches the clan and... What are Sandstar's traits? That is a good question. I'm going to read this first and then we can do that. Um, you get to learn how to climb a tree. The height is scary, but the view from the top is worth it. The taste of rabbit is different than you'd imagine. You find it surprisingly satisfying. Dark Paw thinks Ice Larch was nice to them today. Sandstar is surprised by Dark Paw being thoughtful. Uh, Snowy Catcher saw Dark Paw being considerate. And Pebble Fluff thinks they can tell Dark Paw something important. All positive. Snowy Catcher wasn't looking where they were going and tripped over a small trunk, gaining a few bruises. And Branch Paw was practicing their tree climbing skills, but they slipped. However, they did survive. You're drawing Dark Paw. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Laura, lone, bright, sunny day. Some cats decide to make a clan. They name the clan Uncle Fred Clan. <laughs> they decide to have Bree Spot to be the leader. Uncle Fred Clan? I love that. Why is that amazing? Uh, miscellaneous shows the clan stuff, by the way. I think I like to read some of the clan stuff because I imagine that Dark Paw maybe was like in the presence when it happened. And was like, oh gosh, this person or this cat fell out of a tree. That kind of thing. 
Uh, I'm waiting for my dino mask to arrive. Oh, I hope it does. A sandstar may be manipulating, but they might not necessarily age bad intentions with it. They could just really want to see Dark Paw as a potential heir to the leader of the clan. That's what I was thinking as well. I've drawn a doodle for almost each moon. About eight separate doodles of Dark Paw. I cannot wait to see all of these. Yes, it has, Jasmine, but you have spoken. Maybe because I got an app? Ooh, what app did you get? Should be Grandpa Fred like Gremlins too. <laughs> Coconut, you're obsessed with Gremlins. I haven't seen those movies in such a long time. I really need to watch them again. But when the two legs around taking the herbs and killing off the prey and the dogs, they have a higher death rate, but they still manage to survive. Good for farm clan. I am very normal about Gremlins, I swear. <laughs> Oh, and Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition? That's awesome. I've been told to take a break. That's okay, Kitty. You are welcome to take a break. All right. Let's go. Let's see what happens. This is our last moon before we supposedly become a warrior. Your mentor suggested that it's time to hone your climbing skills. You see a small tree nearby, its branches waving invitingly in the wind. Summoning your courage, you ascend the top the tree swiftly and smoothly from the top you enjoy a bird's eye view of the forest your mentor gazes up in admiration praising your agility and bravery heck yes <gasps> dark freckle that's our name is dark freckle let's go i hope it's not a scam too oh my goodness i am very sure i definitely don't have a shrine <laughs> Because I've been working for a month straight, no breaks. I'm not stopping now. Uh, pace yourself, Kitty. I have been, I have been in that position, and uh, I got burnt out really bad. I hope that doesn't happen to you. I also love that name, Avion. Cute name. It's such a good name because we have little spots. Agreed. Dark freckle. I love this. Dark freckle was climbing a tree and got a splinter from the branches. Oof. The clan gathers, encircling the great rock. Sandstar's eyes are bright as they take their position on top of the stone. You advance towards your leader, the pride in your chest almost overwhelming. The touch of Sandstar's muzzle against your head sends a shock through you. With great honor for your spirit, you are now known as a Dark Freckle. We are now Dark Freckle! We made it to adulthood! Let's go! Okay, Dark Freckle thinks Splinter Tumble was nice to them today. Sandstar wants to explore the whole territory with Dark Freckle. Awesome. We did get a little hurt. Brookby spends the evening regaling the clan with stories of the great tail chaser. <laughs> Hi, spooky dragons. How do I get life gen? So there is a link in the description of this stream. It takes you to the Discord where all of the instructions and links are to play this mod and hi by the way <laughs> uh i don't want to retype my really long message let me see what if dark paw realizes how sandstar was leading them on because they wanted their favorite to be just like them but dark paw sees this and asks medcat for guidance maybe the medcat would let them it's possible it is entirely possible uh, thanks. Jade does find Charlie, but Jade gets game overed by Charlie's kidnapper. Oh no, the friends Jade made while going to save Charlie get her out of there and to safety though. Oh good. I'm a workaholic. Oh kitty. That's awesome. Honestly, I'm envious. I wish that I didn't have lazy days, but there are days that I'm like, I can't get out of bed. I just can't. <laughs> it's okay. I got it, cat. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Repost Lore 2. After they decide to have Breeze Star as a leader, Light Goose volunteers to be Uncle Fred Clan's deputy. Luckily, they get the part. Next, they pick Fire Throat as the medcat. Rushing Spike hated her mentor even more than sh when she returned to the clan with a mate. And a few moons later, she got her apprentice Frostpaw. Stork lost his rank due to breaking the code. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Hello, Pao Chow. How are you? Wasn't Tail Chaser a protagonist in the book that inspired warriors? Was it? Was it? Can any of you big warriors fans let me know? 
When I can't get out of bed, I just work in bed. That's actually why I got an iPad. <laughs> okay, Life Gen just updated like right now. So I downloaded the new version and now I can patrol. Heck yes. All right. Did we get through everything? Uh, Flip Claw got their paw stuck in a two leg trap, but luckily escaped with only a sprain. Thank goodness. So now let's see our relationships and we can look at some of the other cats. See relationships. Hi, Calder. Thank you for the kisses. Wow. So Dark Freckle doesn't actually have like a lot of like for Sandstar. In fact, it's about even with like and dislike. I'm glad you're good. It's not even smoke polluting here. It's ozone levels are higher than normal near the ground. That's odd. The iPad is great. I already started drawing on it. Yeah, Tail Chaser is a character. Heck yes. Hello, Lucky Fox. How are you? How have you been? Flip Claw is a canon character name later in Warriors. <gasps> what? We're having like actual Warriors thing happen right now. I think I've heard that before about Tail Chaser. Do you know what series that's from? I'm downloading the new version. Let's go. I've been doing all right. Thanks for asking. Of course, Luna is here too. Oh my gosh, Luna, how have you been? It's been a minute. How are you? We are playing a clan gen mod right now. It is a lot of fun. It is really a lot of fun. I got like six mods to work on. You got this, kitty. You got this. Boxes unite. Yes, let's go. Cuppy, can I friend your Minecraft account using Microsoft? For sure. Absolutely. It's Cuppy Kate. Same as everything. Welcome back, Willow. Okay. There's a lot of platonic like for ice larch. Lark, I should say. Uh, same with splinter tumble. Calder, I know you're licking my feet because they hurt, but it's making it worse, love. It's making it worse, love. Wait, where is Snowy? Snowy Catcher. There's a lot of platonic like for Snowy Catcher as well. Still dislikes Frost Ash. Calder, honey, you're okay. Don't lick my blister, it hurts. It hurts really bad. It hurts so bad. Not the feet licks. I think I'm gonna go buy Cuppy. Bye, Chara. Have a nice night. I have become leader. Let's go. All right, is it night yet? Yeah, it's five. That's pretty much night. All right, let's go on patrol. A queen asks you to watch over her kids while she hunts. It's a chance to share stories and keep the young ones entertained. You accept and keep the kids entertained with stories of your adventures. The queen returns to find them asleep, grateful for your help. <gasps> We're a good parent, kind of. I downloaded the source code so I can break the game. Oh my. Tail Chaser song. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and save. Let's continue. I kind of want to see what happens with Dark Freckle. A rare moment of peace finds you sunning in the clearing. The warmth is a pleasant break from your warrior duties. You comfort a distressed clanmate after a failed hunt. Their disappointment fades under your words of encouragement. You share a fresh kill with your former mentor, their stories of the past filling the air, and you shall, and you, I do it again. I do it twice. I do it twice this moon. <laughs> Breaking Clangent is fun though. So how do you break it? It's seven and it's still sunny. Yeah, it's, it's five. Five is evening. <laughs> remember when Dark never wanted kits? Yes, I remember. Dark likes kits, just finds them tiring. You know what? It's kind of like having dogs. I love them, but sometimes they are very tiring. Right, Calder? Right, buddy? <laughs> Sandstar was seen speaking calmly to a cat from Pigeon Clan. That's not so strange. I mean, them being the leader and everything. I spot a large mouse nearby. Oh, oh, here we go. Seven in New York. Yes, New York is Eastern. I'm in mountain time. So I am two hours behind you. You successfully stalk and catch the mouse. It will make a good addition to the fresh kill pile. Let's go. Let's keep going. I want to see where Dark Freckle goes. You ask to mediate a dispute among the kits. You suppress a sigh, stepping in to solve the playful quarrel. Dark Freckle is talking with Olive Bird. 
Olive Byrne had a difficult conversation with Dark Freckle and they now have a deeper understanding of each other. <gasps> Maybe Dark Freckle admitted to Olive Byrne that she really actually wanted to be a medicine cat and Olive Byrne kind of understood the difficult position she was in having to choose between what she wanted and what her parent and leader of the clan wanted for her. No worries, Sky Fox. Thanks for hanging out. I think a higher air quality number means it's worse. Oh, dear. My chat broke. No. It's four for you, so you must be in Pacific time. Cats keep you awake. Dogs tire you. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Repost Lore 3. Light Paw, a small app with amber eyes and a rosette pelt. One moon later, they have earned their warrior name, Light Apple. That is adorable. Code is how you break clan gen. Yes. I actually enjoyed playing with code to change the pelts and names and such of cats, but it was hard. It took a long time. Olive Burn tossed a snake out of the camp before it could bite anyone. Heck yes, Olive Burn. All right, an elder asks you to share a story of your most daring adventure. It's an opportunity to share your experiences and inspire younger cats. You captivate the clan with your tail, filling their eyes with wonder. They appreciate your storytelling and the kits beg for more stories in the future. Look at all this. Look at our cats. Mink Twist is now an elder. Branch Paw is growing up, so is Aspen Paw. Look at Quailing Knight. This is our sister. Quailing Knight looks amazing. She's a fast runner and a good fighter. And then of course there's Yupa, who is still the medicine cat apprentice, not quite there yet. Still likes to splash in pud puddles and is interested in clan history. Bye Daisy, thanks for staying. All right, I'm gonna take a, ba a break from posting lore, no worries. That save file editing and bye Daisy. Okay, so that's not quite the same as coding. Yeah, save file editing, got you. Welcome back Lantern. I'm gonna play Clangen now, let's go. I do know how to safely bring cats back from the dead and assign siblings and parents. <gasps> I wanna know how to do that. If Quailing Knight and Snowy Catcher had kids, those would be beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're right. Welcome back, yes, Dark Freckle. We are now Dark Freckle. No one, Cuppy at Quailing Knight. Quailing Knight, yes. <laughs> Cuppy is your Minecraft name, Cuppy Kate, just like that? Yes, it is Cuppy Kate, just like that. Did we do a patrol this moon? We did, so let's save. Moving on, nothing really happened. Dark Freckle admires how brave Quailing Knight is. Aw, she's admiring her sister. I love that so much. You find a particularly smooth stone near the river that reminds you of a cat you're fond of. You think they might like it as a gift? You offer them the stone and they seem genuinely touched by your thoughtfulness. Their appreciation makes you feel warm and happy inside. Wait, who? I misspelled it. Quailing. Quail. Qu what, I misspelled it, I misset it. It's quail lightning, quail lightning. I thought it was Quailing Night. Why did I think it was Quailing Night? Quail Lightning. Oh boy. <laughs> Y'all. Ah, uh, yes. Cuppy. Cuppy, you're so, you're so good at reading. <laughs> I'm still here just not typing. No worries, Anna. It's okay. We still love you. Thank you. Thank you for your love despite <laughs> my inability to read properly. <laughs> So who are we fond of? I didn't remember seeing anything like that. Wait, what? Okay. Do we have anybody? There doesn't seem to be any romantic like, so it could have just been somebody that we like platonically. You can still give gifts to people you like platonically. I'm dyslexic, I didn't notice either. <laughs> I have ADHD, which is probably why that happened. Nothing interesting happened. Dark Freckle sees that Branch Paw's piece of prey looks tastier and asks them if they'd like to swap, and they do. Ice Lark misstepped. Olive Bird was seen loudly bickering with the medicine cat of Hawk Clan. Oh. 
And they ran too fast and hurt their paws. I wonder who we're fond of. Could, uh, fond of could still refer to friend or family member. Yep. Quailing Knight is a cute name. I agree. I don't know if I like Quail Lightning, but that's fine. An apprentice is struggling with their battle moves. You try to help the apprentice, but they're too frustrated to listen. You promise to try again another time. Well, at least we're committed. I like that. All right, let's do this again. A rogue threatens your patrol. You defend your clanmates, chasing the intruder away. Heck yes. My coding is adding new patrols, patrol art, adding more thoughts, deaths, etc. Kitty, that is really awesome. It is a skill issue, Coconut. It is, for sure. Copy, at this point, I'm going to have to move onto a second page. I'm just using copy paper. Oh, geez. I cannot wait to see all these. Last Friday, I hit my head on one of those heavy wooden doors that schools have, and today I almost choked on milk. I'm okay. I feel fine. At least I think it was... Spooky cat, please be careful. Please be careful. Please. Please. Uh, you journey to another clan to deliver a message. The unfamiliar territory is stretching out before you. A rumor about an intruder has the clan on edge. You volunteer for extra patrols, feeling a surge of protectiveness over your clanmates. You watch a ceremony for a new apprentice, their name echoing around the camp as the leader announces their new name and mentor. And then Brookby got their paw stuck again. Oh, geez, Brookby getting all these injuries. So we're very brave. The deputy is forming a border patrol. Do you want to volunteer? Yes. You join the patrol and do an excellent job securing the clan's border. Your vigilance is noted. Y'all, we're doing great. Change the dead true and dead false. Is that all you have to do? Uh, let's see. I'm not typing because I'm drawing a pic for my crush. Let's go. I try to be careful, but I think I'm taking after my cats. Oh, jeez. My mom got the wrong type of milk and now I'm in pain. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, no, kitty. I'm so sorry. Bro, Dark Freckle is, le Freckle is legit leader-like. I agree. I actually could see Dark Freckle being a leader. Wait, I don't have a mate, but I'm pregnant in life gen? What? When did this happen? <laughs> Repost, I was a leader for two minutes and left because it was boring. Oh, being a leader is boring. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. You intervene in an escalated argument between two apprentices. The tension breaks under your stern gaze. Ooh. You bravely defend your hunting party from an eagle. The bird's shriek echoes through the forest as it retreats. You stand strong as your leader announces a hard decision. Your support eases the tension in camp. You mediate a dispute between two apprentices. Their angry yells fill the air as you intervene. You sigh. It's going to be a long day. You ask to mediate a dispute among kits. You suppress a sigh, stepping in to solve the playful quarrel. We are always fixing everybody's problems. If we don't get chosen as deputy, then wow. I agree. I absolutely agree. Hello! Uh, Noelia? Is that how you say your name? Noelia? Hello, I've been trying to download this mod, but I don't know how. Can you tell us, please? So if you go into the description of this video and you go to Discord, once you find the post by Coffee, and it's spelled exactly like the word coffee, um, they have the link to the GitHub. If you go to the GitHub, you should be able to download the source code, and then you just have to extract the files into a safe place. Make sure you have all the tools. It is kind of a long process, but um, you're welcome to look at my video tutorial on how to download the cat clan gen maker if you follow steps similar to that it should help i hope it does i really hope it does hi dragon master how are you Woo! i needed water i'm spanish you said it fine okay good Okay, I felt really bad. I was like, oh, I don't want to mess up somebody's name. I've had that happen to me with spelling, and I'm never frustrated, but I never want to be that person. 
Of course, I hope it helps. Uh, if you look at the, the cat maker tutorial video, it should kind of give you the steps that you should take, but it's not the same mod, if that makes sense. All right. Dark Freckle had a disagreement with Frost Ash about something. This is not surprising. Sandstar is surprised to hear Dark Freckle express an ideal they can agree with. Oh. Elder Current is having more kits. Okay. And saved you, Iris, from a big dog. Quail Lightning was seen touching noses with a kitty pet. <gasps> what? What? I just hissed at that thing. I'm good. This is one of the only streams I've seen because of Australia time. I know Australia time. We have some Australian friends and we play D&D with them on Friday. So we play at like, like between five and seven, but that's like early morning for y'all. <laughs> In the future, will it be possible to get the life gen mod without needing discord? I'm not trying to rush the people that made the great mod in case it's still in development. I'm just curious. I could possibly, um, after the stream is over, I'll see if I can't link the GitHub for those that don't have discord. Touching noses is scandalous. I know. And then she ran too fast and hurt her paws because she was getting caught. Gasp. All right. You find a particularly smooth stone. Oh, we're gonna do another gift. Calder, oh boy. We're gonna have puppy time because puppy is requesting. Okay, hello. Do you wanna say hi? Do you want to say hi here? This is Calder. He's my beep. Yo, yes, thank you, I love you. He's my son. We went on a hike today. He almost killed me because he can walk so fast. Hi, baby. <laughs> I love you. This good boy. This good boy. I want a husky. They are a lot of work. Just keep that in mind. They're a great dog. They're extremely loyal and lovable. But, um, yeah. They need a lot. So they need a lot of training. They need a lot of work. They need a lot of uh, stimulation, both physical and mental. Yes, buddy. Okay, get down. Do you need to go potty? Do you go potty? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to take them to go potty. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned. Sorry about that. I appreciate y'all waiting for me to let the puppies go potty. <laughs> but yeah, that's my boy. He's such a good boy. I can show y'all Kiba later before I end stream. Yes, happy Pride Month, everybody. Happy Pride Month. Oh, are they half clan? Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, back to Dark Freckle. I'm trans by and Polly. <sighs> Thank you for feeling safe enough to share. I had three kids. They're all beautiful. They were an accident, but I love them. Oh, Cuppy, I have moved on to a second piece of paper that is amazing. I do absolutely support LGBTQ. I am actually bi, um, but I did choose to marry my husband, so I have made the choice. And... Uh, He's wonderful and I love him so very much, but I am very supportive of the LGBTQ. I have no idea who the dad is. <laughs> I think I might be ace. That is definitely something to explore if you are curious about it. Hi, Michelle, how are you? 
Immaculate Conception, oh my. <laughs> Welcome back, Squirrel Lee. All right, uh, so let's go ahead. Let's time skip one moon, here we go. Doubts over a Star Clan message plagues your mind. The cryptic words hang over you, filling your thoughts. Wait, we got a clan gen message? What? You're about to change clan gen, Kenny? Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh-huh. I have been, I have known that I was bisexual since like early, early high school. <laughs> Western, you're Mary from the Bible. <laughs> Uh, Cuppy, how do you feel about rushing Spike? Honest opinion. I actually really like her. I was les bi and now I'm ace. I'm straight at, right now at least, not planning on changing it. My husband is straight. Um, I can't even begin to explain my sexuality orientation. You know, the thing is, is I don't think that's something you have to rush. Um, you know, I didn't... I didn't even really know what bi was until after I was a full-grown adult, so I had to figure that out later myself. So I don't think that's anything that you should rush or jump into, because especially when you're young, because it can... When you're really young, it's so easy to change. Like, I changed a lot when I was a kid. Like, I was a horrible kid, <laughs> but I think I'm a better adult now. No, please not, Mary. I can't live with that expectation. <laughs> I don't know I want to talk about it but I I don't know if I'm comfy that is okay like only talk about what you're comfortable with hi Heather hey what have I missed so we just got we got dark kit all the way up to dark freckle at 19 moons old she was apprenticed by the leader of the clan who was also her adopted parents and we're seeing what her life is looking like I got a cat named Clover Kit. <gasps> Clover Kit, let's go. Hi, Wolf, my love. I am trans and bi. I knew I was bi when I was like 10. That is pretty cool. That's cool. Uh, I figured it out. I found out who the father was. It's a gander. Gander fluff? That's amazing. <laughs> I was discovered alone and abandoned. Aw, kitty. Yes, Willow. Um, let's see. During a thunderstorm, you reassure the terrified kits. Their calm mewling soothes your own fears. Aw. You share a fresh kill with a cat you admire. They share the shared meal and the conversation that follows brightens your day. You mediate a dispute between two apprentices and you bravely defend your hunting party from an eagle. Welcome back, cat. Can you read my last message? I will try my best. Um, I think I answered that question. I think I did. You're welcome to ask again if I missed it, but I think I got it. By the way, Baypaw is part of Farm Clan. Oh, that's so cute. I saw coffee in the title where? <laughs> um, so coffee is actually the maker of this mod, this clan gen mod called Life Gen. Coffee was the, the OP poster on Discord, and so I wanted to make sure that they got credit in the title because I did not make this mod, and I wanted other people to go say thank you and find them in Discord to say thank you for making such a great clan gen mod. Root Clan is suffering from black cough. Black cough. Oh, jeez. Uh, coffee does sound really good right now, though. I'm not going to lie. And I have half and half in my fridge. I should make coffee. What does ace mean? I believe that arrow ace means that you are non-romantic. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe somebody who is arrow ace could explain it a little bit better. I am semi-gender, trans, mask, ace, demi, feline gender, plutoion, something on the agenda spectrum, and neptunic, a non-binary turn for lesbian, or someone who likes females or female-based people. Interesting. I have never heard those. Ace means you don't feel sexual attraction. Okay, it's not romantic. It's sexual attraction. Got it. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. I knew I was on the right track, but I got it a little bit wrong. I joined your RP Discord, but I'm nervous to start role-playing because I've never te played text role-plays. You got this? Oh, or romantic feelings. So it's both? Arrow Ace is both no sexual or romantic feelings. Hey, Akio. 
Arrow is no romantic. So Ace is non-sexual and Arrow is non-romantic. Okay. Okay, thank you for clarifying. I knew I was mixing something up. So I appreciate y'all so much. Um, let's see. Brookby divides Dark Freckle into extra patrols. And Olive Bird saw Dark Freckle the other day and did and did get a chance to meow hello. Dark Freckle is building up Frost Ash's confidence, even though they don't get along. That's interesting. Dark Freckle had you, Iris, bump into them and they didn't even apologize. <gasps> we don't get along with our siblings. Arrow and Ace are different. Okay. But to be Arrow Ace means you're not anything. Uh, between roman like romantic or sexual. A not also asexual equals not sexual, basically. Okay, got it. Thank you. I will remember that. Most people are both though. Okay, so I think that's why I've seen Arrow Ace a lot. I've seen Arrow Ace more than I've seen just the one Arrow or Ace. I've seen Arrow Ace a lot. I think that's where I got the non-romantic from. Lily Kit takes after me. We're both restless sleepers in the game, which is surprisingly accurate to real life. Aw. Arrow Ace is like aero aromantic and asexual. Got it. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate that. I'm always down to learn like everything correctly. <laughs> I try to keep track, but it's just one of those things that there are so many, it sometimes is really hard. But I appreciate y'all's patience with me. <laughs> Please pause any events with Dark Freckle. I'm getting water. Go get that water. I know a lot of LGBT terms. Me and my fiance are in the LGBT community and my partner is non-binary ace uh, and I'm me. Awesome. May I say lore about my clan Roach Clan? Absolutely. Frost and Dark could be enemies to lovers era. <gasps> I would love to see that. I would actually love to see that. Elder Current thinks they're having a larger litter. Well, they thought they were having a small litter last time and they literally had three. All right. I don't know what mine is. That's okay. You don't have to rush into saying you're one way or another. It could be something you just haven't discovered yet. And I would say to take your time. Definitely take your time. Especially if you're young. Sandstorm Firestar thing? <gasps> yes, that would be amazing. Cuppy, guess what? Uh, what's new in the art channel? I can't wait to look. I'm back with water. All right, we can now go on a patrol. Also, Cuppy, I'll have to leave soon. The guests are arriving. Iris, I hope you have fun at your party. It's going to be awesome. Honestly, we will probably end pretty soon because I am really tired and I want to take a nap before I record because I don't want my recording to be poopy. <laughs> that would be really bad. All right. A moonlit walk by the river with a cat you're interested in seems like a perfect way to spend the evening. You invite them to join you. Oh gosh, I'm scared. They agree and you both enjoy a peaceful walk, chatting and sharing stories. By the end of the evening, you feel a stronger connection between you. Who is this with? I need to know. <laughs> I need to write lore for Mermaid Clan. I might find out when I'm a little older and there's nothing wrong with that. You do not have to jump into any sort of like those types of things. Like it's okay to wait. Please wait if you can. Um, my life gen cat keeps adopting kids. Oh my gosh. Play it cool, dark. Yes, play it cool. Check relationships, check relationships. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. All right. All right, here we go. I don't see any romantic like. There's literally nothing, like nothing at all. Huh, weird. There's a lot of platonic like for like Snowy Catcher and Splinter Tumble. I'm kind of wondering if maybe it is Snowy Catcher. Like look at all this, or maybe even Splinter Tumble. Who is it gonna be? This is crazy. Who? Who's it gonna be? Is Glitchy here? Or what is Glitchy? Maybe it's a cat outside the clan. <gasps> Gasp. Hmm. I'm sorry, Anna. I'm so sorry to hear that. 
But you know what? It's okay. You are your own person. And I know that's frustrating, but you know, just it's one of those things where you get to be you. And once you are old enough to be on your own, those things won't matter. I bet it's snowy. I have a feeling it's snowy too. I'm hoping snowy catcher just because pretty, but splinter is also, I agree. Splinter is also pretty. I guess we'll have to find out. So let's keep going then. I don't want to wait anymore. I want to find out who it is. All right, you get into a heated argument with your leader, standing your ground, you fight for what you believe is best for the clan. <gasps> you aid the medicine cat in gathering herbs, their gratitude and knowledge shared makes the task rewarding. A fishing expedition goes awry when a fish nips at your tail, you retreat with a laugh promising revenge on the slippery enemy. You stand vigil for a fallen clan mate, their body is laid out under the silver, the, the silver light of the moon. You comfort a kit who's scared during a thunderstorm. Who died? What? Dark Freckle had a difficult conversation with Elder Current, and they now have a deeper understanding of each other. Dark Freckle, Sandstar, and Ice Larch took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Okay. Pebble Fluff Muse, congratulations to Dark Freckle for a job well done. Frost Ash chats with Dark Freckle while grabbing something to eat. Sanderstar confesses their feelings to Elder Current and they have become mates. Okay. Elder Current is so, so grateful that their adorable litter of three kits is here, both thrilled to meet them and thrilled that Sandstar can take a turn parenting while Elder Current finally takes a break. Oh my gosh, what? This mod is bad at telling you who died and who you're in love with, sheesh. I know, right? I know. Um, let's see. Elder Current was moving some branches out of the way and they got a splinter. So let's look at our cat list. Who did we lose? Okay, Brookby is still here. Olive Burn, Elder Current, Ice Larch, Splinter Tumble still here, Snowy Catcher still here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where is Star Clan? How do I get to Star Clan? Oh, oh no. Okay, wait. So Shrewtooth died probably from old age, if I had to guess. Oh, Shrewtooth was killed by a fox. And then Model Kit died of green cough. Okay, so Model Kit's been gone for a while. So Shrewtooth must have just died or something. That's kind of sad. Sobbing, you keep looking away when I comment. I'm sorry, Heather, I'm trying my best. Okay, let me see if I can go back and find, okay. Um. Oh no, I'm two pixels on your screen. No, that's not good at all. I don't think I read your last comment, but Heather, you are welcome to repost your comments. It is totally fine. We have to repost a lot here because I get really distracted with the game. <laughs> it's fine, no worries. Thank you for your understanding, I appreciate it. I accidentally almost killed a kit. Oh, geez. Nobody died this moon? What the heck? That's what I was wondering. It doesn't seem like it. Repost because, yeah, I feel like typing King Dices, my Warrior Cat's Ultimate Edition OC backstory, but it has gore and it's in it. So, nah, that's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea. Repost Elder Current's kits could have been Sand Stars and like quick flings, and Sand grew feelings, and so did Elder. So we now have um, Conquer Kits, a young little female. We have Iris Kit, a little male, and Hazel Kit, another little male. Oh! All right, let's keep going with our girl. You discover a new hunting ground full of prey. However, it's close to a two-leg place and there could be potential dangers. Should we do it? I don't know, we could like lose our cat. Should we proceed? I don't know what to do. Imagine being named Elder Kit though, bros old and young. <laughs> we should do it. Proceed. Yee. You decide to hunt in the new area. You manage to catch a lot of prey and return safely, earning praise from your clan. <sighs> Thank goodness we made it. We didn't lose Dark Freckle. I would have been so sad. So, so sad. Okay. 
Dark Freckle wasn't looking where they were going and tripped over a small trunk spraining their paw. You share fresh kill with an elder and their stories and adventures fill the evening with nostalgia. Dark Freckle saw Hazel Kit the other day and did get a chance to meow hello. And then Mink Twist saw Dark Freckle show off a skill that they never knew they had. We got a little hurt. Brookby announced they're expecting kits. Olive Burn slipped on some rocks, dislocated their leg. Snowy Catcher brought a litter of four kits back to camp, but refused to talk about their origin. Snowy Catcher. Snowy Catcher, what's going on? I keep murdering Mint Clan's leader. Help. Is that really happening? Uh, Cuppy, can we check dark uh, gender? I'm 100% sure it said she was a boy. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure she's a girl. Yeah, she's a girl. Dark is a girl. I know, right? So Snowy brought back kits. I can't tell if it's an adoption thing or what happened. So we now have mole kits, um, gill kit, swamp kit, and edelweiss kit. How do you say that? I don't think I've ever seen that word before in my life. My phone graphics lied to me then. Sorry, Cuppy. No, it's okay. It's all good. Me low-key wondering if Sandstar is a two-timing or poly. Could be a thing. I just sent three long messages and don't feel like copying and pasting again. I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. I see apprentice of Roach Clan. Your journey towards becoming a warrior has be officially begun. The cheers of your clanmates ring in your ears as you look towards the future heart. So let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Cinnamon Star. Oh, so you're playing your own game. This is awesome. Cuppy, the game named a kit after me. I'm famous. Yes, you are famous. Adel a Adelweiss, maybe? Adelweiss? It could be. Check the kit's family tree. I can. Let's let's go ahead and do that. So Snowy Catcher is a parent. They are a parent. So he was having relations with a cat outside of camp. That's what was happening. Oh, I wonder, so maybe, maybe Dark Freckle wasn't looking at Snowy Catcher. An elder asks you to share a story. We have done this before and it all works out. The kids beg for more stories in the future. Aw. I want to figure out who we're in love with though. Sandstar chooses Frost Ash to take over as deputy. Wait, what? Did Brookaby die? Dark Freckle thinks Mulkit was nice to them today. Dark Freckle and Quail Lightning heckled a, another clan at the gathering together. <laughs> Dark Freckle has a headache. Brookby is unsure how many kits they will have. Flip Claw was loitering around Gull Clan's border looking for a specific cat. Quail Lightning finds an abandoned kit and names them Freckle Kits. Aww! Quail Lightning named their kit after us. Wait, what happened? I know, I know, I'm about to find out. Uh, Hazel Kit woke up with a splitting headache and couldn't get out of their nest. They spent the entire day curled up. Oh, I know how those headaches are. So wait, what? Brookaby's just, what, what, what? But they didn't die. Wait, they're not here. Help, help. Oh wait, Brookaby's down here. Oh, they she retired. She retired, y'all. It's a fine. She retired. She didn't die. She just she decided that she was done being deputy. She retired. She's considered an elder. Okay. Phew. I was so stressed. But chose Frost Ash to be deputy. We hate Frost Ash. Ouch. That hurts our feelings. Because we're not that much younger than they are. Oof. 
My cat Pine Freckle just adopted two more kits. Oh my gosh, heck yes. I'm tired of you going to bed. No worries, kitty. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. It was nice to, to see you here. Let's see, repost. I can't bring myself to read the rest of Fire and Ice, but my annoying ADHD tendencies kick in and I try to focus. Plus my friend already gave me spoilers, so no surprise. Sad third repost, girl. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Big oof. Uh, wait, but what if they... But, it, but what if when Frost becomes lead, they make us deputy and they get together? That would be hilarious. I'll be joining next live stream. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. I have chronic headaches. They are the worst. I don't get them like I used to, but I remember them being really bad. She doesn't need milk. She's about to lactate. Sorry if that was crossing a line. <laughs> One is named Rhyme Kit. Rhyme Kit lives on. Okay, so this was fine. We didn't actually lose Brookby. Brookby is fine. Kits are growing up. Everything is great. I still want to figure out who our precious dark freckle is in love with. A cat you have a crush on seems down lately. You want to do something to cheer them up. You decide to share a humorous story from your apprentice days. They listen attentively, and by the end, their moon seems lifted. They thank you for making them smile. Who? Who is it? I has to know. <laughs> Dark Freckle, who do you like? There's a lot of platonic love for Ice Larch, but platonic is not romantic. I don't see any romantic love at all. <laughs> Literally every time I post, she goes back to clan gen. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. What is this? The fourth repost. Wait, how do I get access to the server for life gen? It's a link to a channel, not an invite. Is it? Yeah, it is a link to a channel. Do you need to be invited to the clan gen? The channel is where this is posted. That's why. Is it Frost Ash? Among Us music plays, it could be. I wonder if Sandstar and Dark Freckle had an off-screen falling out, or Dark simply told Sand she didn't want to be a warrior and Sand appointed Frost Ash to get back at Dark. It's possible? Bye, Iris! Have fun! Literally can't play clan gen or life gen because I'm on mobile, plus the mobile clan gen. I did something and can't play it. Oh no! All the new M stuff in MC is blowing me away. Oh, yes. I need to play. I really do. I miss playing on uh, revs. I only got to play once. Uh, let's see. And another kit became a warrior. Welcome, Shineweb. Aw. Us violently shaking Dark Freckle to find out who she likes. And she's like, nah. I'll never tell. Baypod just now became 12 moons and she's fluffy. Farm Clan now has a fluffy no-tailed cat in their clan. I'm in love with Baypod's design. Aww. The mod thread is on the clan gen server. Yes, it is on the clan gen server. Pat's Lily Fox's head. It happens. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, y'all. Ooh, the second repost because why not? I was editing a King Dice edit and I'm like, oh, no, he's hot. <laughs> At this point, we should just make a love interest for Dark. Maybe we can? Let's see. Mm. I mean, maybe it could be Ice Larch. I don't know. They're pretty close in age. I just want to know. <laughs> I want to know. Can you show me? Copyright. Okay. <gasps> Dark Freckle was bitten by a snake and miraculously survived. What? A fishing expedition goes awry when a fish nips your tail. A surprise attack from a fox tests your fighting skill. With a triumphant yowl, you chase the intruder away. A tail raised high and victory. You offer comfort to a grieving clanmate. Their grief is palpable, but you shared silence brings solace. A huge storm hits your territory. You work tirelessly to ensure every clanmate is safe. You participate in a battle against a rival clan. Claws clash around you. Adrenaline rushes through your body as you hurl yourself in the fray. We're in a battle now? 
Dark Freckle goes to tell a secret to you, Iris, only for you, Iris, to tell someone else a secret to them. Oof. Let's see. Brookaby doesn't feel ready to be a parent of this litter of three kits, but they promise to do this tiny flailing limbs by their side that they'll do their best. They swear on Star Clan itself. But then Brookby went missing for a few days. You, Iris, was pushing through some dense shrubs and felt the branches tear, tear painfully at their pelt. Goodness. And we have three more kits. Check Brookby kit's parents. We can do that. So for now, it just says Brookby. So it must be somebody outside the clan. And then we have Mole Kit. Mole Kit was... Oh, you can give adoptive parents? That's cute. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know, I was confused. So they must be outside the clan. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> My PC keeps crashing. I'm so sorry. Cuppy, this is my 50th repost. Please listen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> A lot of chaos in one moon. For real. All right. Let's go on patrol. A queen asks you to watch over her kits. You accept and keep the kits entertained with stories of your adventures. The queen returns to find them asleep, grateful for your help. So we're doing well taking care of kits. I think once we get to 25 moons, I'll go ahead and stop here, but then we can continue with Dark Freckle's life to see where it goes. Oh, you're right. That would be amazing. You challenge a decision made by the deputy, your voice ringing out in the, in the silent camp. Oh, jeez. We did that twice. Doubt over a Star Clan message plagues your mind. The cryptic words hang over you, filling your thoughts. Dark Freckle had a fight with Conquer Kit, and Hazel Kit had a fight with Dark Freckle. You, you Iris, woke up with a splitting headache. Um, and then Iris Kit is scolded after sneaking out of camp. See, we're doing more stuff with the cat we like. Like, for real. Welcome back. You haven't missed much. Dark Freckle kind of reminds me of my cousin. She used to babysit me and my brother. She is definitely a babysitter. She's been babysitting a lot. I press enter comment and the comment has zero contacts. I also want to scream into my pillow of absolute embarrassment. Oh no, don't be embarrassed. It happens. Me remembering my family will hopefully be home from summer trip tomorrow. Me realizing they don't want to address the internet failure right away. Oh no. It's frost. I tell you, it's frost. They agree, but the walk is awkward and filled with silence. Oh, no, that wasn't a good outcome. Oh, no. Repost, I am going, I am doing markings for an OC, but they look like a Tide Pod. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It was just really funny the way you did that. Yes, it could be Frost Ash. It could be. But I thought that I thought that Dark Freckle didn't like Frost Ash. But it could be enemies into lovers. It could be a thing that can happen. Let's see, where is Frost Ash? Oh no, the dislike is so there. <laughs> That'd be cool though. If it worked out, that would be cool. The Pokey Poet, hi. I've just been lurking and listening. Can't download the mod yet, but I do enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you for lurking and listening. I love my lurkers here. I appreciate you so very much. And welcome to the stream. Your baby love paw died. Western, I'm so sorry. Oh, that breaks my whole heart. Uh, you participate in a battle against a rival clan, but we hurl ourselves into the fray. You mediate a dispute between two apprentices, and we participate in a battle twice. What is going on with these battles? Dark Freckle is wowed by how bravely Aspen Clove fought the other day. Uh, let's see. Flipclaw was seen arguing and borderline fighting with a cat from Gull Clan. Ice Larch got their paw stuck in a two leg trap but escaped with a sprain. Quail Lightning confesses their feelings to Frost Ash, and they have become mates? What? 
So Quail Lightning, our sister, is with Foss Frost Ash, the deputy. So it's not Frost, because our sister is with Frost. Gilkit woke up with a mild headache, but got up to play anyways, trying to ignore the nagging pain. Yes, Quail. Well, there goes our chance of enemies to lovers, for real? Quail stole Frost, I'm telling you. No, it was Quail stole them. <laughs> So do they live in a forest near a big lake ocean? In the clan? They live in the forest. Oh my gosh, what a plot twist, for real. No wonder Dark doesn't get along with her siblings. Yeah, y'all did say siblings sucked in the beginning and uh, I'm seeing that right now. Bro, Quail is a love stealer, right? Yes, Jasmine. Y'all, Dark could like Ars Larch. I'm wondering if it is. I Because the platonic love is so high, I feel like it probably is. And maybe they're too afraid to like go past platonic in case the Ice Larch doesn't have the same feeling. Lark doesn't have the same feelings. Because that is pretty high. I mean, that's platonic love. I don't see any romance anywhere. So maybe it's just one of those things where it hasn't really sparked yet. But I think they would make a really cute couple. They might make some cute babies. I think I need a mental health because I killed 27 leaders in Amber Clan. Oh, jeez. And Pine Freckle adopted more kids? Oh. You know what? I think this would be a really good- wait, can it actually save though? Oh no. I don't know. Can it save? <gasps> oh no. It seems like it saved. It does save! Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I was so scared. It does save. Oh good. Quail time to steal my sibling's crush. Maybe crush. I don't know. <laughs> It can't save, I don't think. I think it did. It popped me right back in. Oh dear, I think it saves. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right, so that is all I have for a stream today. I'm gonna go take a nap. I am very tired from that hike still. And so I'm gonna snuggle with my boyo. But hey, we got two hours in for a stream. Thank you all so much for hanging out here. Why did my chat disconnect? Successfully connected, this is fine. <laughs> Rev's live, is Rev live? Should we go over to see Rev? I love you too, thank you all for being here. Yes, remember Tygon, I will remember Tygon. I'm actually gonna go lay down with my iPad and respond to Tygon's message. Let's go see if Rev is live and maybe we can go raid. Ooh, Rev is live, let's go. So Rev is a really, really sweet guy. I love him to death. He's doing an editing video right now, which is great. I love those, they're usually super chill. Um, so I highly suggest y'all go hang out. Yes, good morning to all Australians. Good night to the rest of you. Um, possibly good afternoon. You know what? I'm just going to say happy time zone, everybody. That is a Tygon original. Um, but yeah, y'all go and say hi to Rev. I just pinned the new message and I'll put it in again. And tell him that Cuppy said a happy hello and that she's going to take a nap. I love you guys. Bye, Griffin. Bye, Tygon. Good time zone, my friends. Yes, bye, Allie. Bye, Dragon. Bye, Anna. Bye, Froggy. I love this stream you rocked. Bye. Thank you so much, Froggy. Bye, Cats Not Hummingbirds. Bye. Bye, Cami. Bye, Avion. Thank you all so much for being here. It means so much to me. Love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like the stream and subscribe if you want to see more. I love you. Bye.
microphone reset to the right setting? Uh, SMP, the Fortnite Players SMP, open on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Playing Life Gen. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Cuppy, hello. How? Lily, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, pa that's party sound effects. Oh, hey. I'm gonna lurk because I need a nap. You take your nap, Cuppy. If you don't mind, can you sing happy birthday? Oh, I feel uncomfortable. 